All right, guys. You'll be shocked to hear this. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking about an over-the-top beautiful day here uh, on this planet at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is now a Thursday. It is September 12th, 2024, and I have a lot on my plate today. I got a, a lawn mowing job from hell. I have seven blueberries to transplant, 20 milkweeds, and uh, I need to get out there and get her done. But guys, I just can't uh, to start my work day without just getting something off my chest. And this is about this, I, I, I get, the, I don't know, is it some new meme uh, going around uh, in the media or is it just the newest version of an age old meme? <laughs> so I'm gonna, we're, 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 I'm going to look at a couple of stories here in the mainstream media today. And uh, then uh, we're, we're going to give you a pop quiz. So anyway, there's all sorts of stories about this photo. A little hard to tell with this damn reflection. So what this is is a picture of a man walking down the street carrying a goose. Okay, uh, I, I have no idea if it is illegal to carry a goose in the state of Ohio. Uh, so, I've never read that this man is breaking any law by walking down the fucking street carrying a goose. But uh, there, there seems, this seems to be absolutely, this was from uh, Reddit Collapse. This photograph has made its way to the collapse. Uh, what does that, that picture of a man walking down the fucking street exercising his God-given constitutional right to carry a goose down the street uh, have to do with the collapse of a planet. Uh, all sorts of, uh, I'm not going to get into this story, here's new details uncovered about viral goose photo. Uh, makes national news. This this is national news. This dude walking down the fucking street carrying a goose. Okay, so now we're going to go from that photo to, uh, to, uh, what the hell just happened here? This damn new computer is so, uh, anyway. Okay, we're going to go from that photo to this photo. Okay, we just saw a picture uh, of a dude walking down the street, minding his own business, carrying a goose in, in the national news. And then we have this story all over the national news several versions of it and uh, so I want you okay there's that photo and there is that photo so what is the story behind this photo uh, which will probably be as famous as that goose by tomorrow here is the story uh, out of Washington DC Man wanted, man wanted for sex act with cucumber in Northwest D.C. All right. Police said they were investigating after a homeowner's camera caught a man performing a sex act on himself with a cucumber 
in her driveway. That This sounds already like a Karen to me. Uh, sounds like a goddamn Karen. You know, uh, there's this dude performing a sex act with a cucumber in her driveway. What does she immediately do? She calls the cops. The uh, Metropolitan Police Department said it happened around 5.30 p.m. on Friday, September 6th, in the Truxton Circle neighborhood, not far from Dunbar High School. Um, DC News Now obtained video of the incident from the owner of the security camera who hoped sharing the footage which she posted on Reddit, so this photo is also on Reddit, would help police identify the man in order to protect her neighbors and students. To protect her neighbors and students. Protect them from what? Uh, quoting, quoting the Karen, uh, actually it's a Catherine, Catherine Karen Baker, uh, I was so disgusted and freaked out. Yes. Uh, I want people, I want my neighbors to know and keep an eye out for this person. I want parents to be mindful. There's a lot of kids. There are high school students. They walk themselves to and from school, but we all have to be vigilant about this kind of thing. Yes, it was around dinner time when Baker's camera recorded a man with a lunch box entering her driveway and lodging a cucumber in the grill of Baker's SUV. The video shows the man checking to see if the coast is clear before turning his back turning his back, yes, I bet, to the SUV and beginning to use the cucumber in the sex act. The police report Baker filed details. I don't understand the wording of the sentence. The police report Baker filed, okay, the police report Baker filed detail something else that is clear in the video. The man chose to keep going. Well, he, he comes around the passenger side of the SUV, then performs the sexual act again. He appears to notice the security camera before putting the cucumber back in his lunch box and then he walks away down the adjacent alley, uh, said Karen, quote, it was that eye contact that really unsettled me because it then continues for longer than one would imagine. And of course, then he saves the cucumber for later. So it really leaves one with a lot of questions that no one wants to have on their mind. Yes. So I guess unlike carrying a goose, maybe there is a law against this. Washington, D.C.'s indecent exposure law says that any public penetration for sexual gratification violates the law. Uh, penalties include a fine of up to $300 and jail time up to 90 days. Uh, outside Dunbar High School on Tuesday, Safe Passage Ambassador, Safe Passage Ambassador Vinia Nar said, quote, There are children walking around, neighborhood kids, elementary school, middle school, and high school. So, it's just a kid-friendly neighborhood. 
So we definitely want to get him out of the way. Yes, and then as uh, I like this comment uh, from Alert Readers that uh, cucumbers are a gateway to eggplants. But anyway, before we do, I, I get off on this, uh, on this rant, one, one more time, we're going to look at these two photos. And you would only know this information by the... So here is photo number one uh, uh, of this man uh, minding his own business, being reported to the cops by this Karen. And uh, here is this uh, viral photo of a man, a man carrying a goose down... Uh, down the street. Nowhere in any of these articles does it mention this man is breaking any law whatsoever. And so, guys, we all know the connection between these two photos. And even my privileged honky ass uh, knows what the goddamn connection is. It's because the guys were black. All right, let, 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 let's just dispense with uh, th this goose photo. I, I guarantee fucking to you, I guarantee fucking to you guys, if I went out and found a goose, okay, if, if, if your old honky here went out and found a goose and drove to Ithaca, New York with it and started walking down the streets of Ithaca, New York, carrying a goose, I guarantee you it would not be on, on the front pages uh, of uh, the Ithaca newspaper tomorrow. W wouldn't, wouldn't be mentioned. Would not be mentioned. It, it, uh, you know, any, any, privileged white person, male or female, uh, could exercise their constitutional God-given right to carry uh, a goose down the fucking street. And uh, th th this is just n n no shit Sherlock. Uh, this is a blatant case of CGWB carrying goose while black. You know, I, I really do feel for the brothers out there. They can't carry a fucking goose uh, down the street without uh, Donald Trump uh, posting pictures of himself uh, hugging a goose. But I, I think that's a little weirder. That Did you see that picture of, of Donald Trump hugging the goose posted uh, on X and retweeted by Elon Musk? I, I, I think we ought to be making a viral photo out of Donald Trump hugging a goose. Uh, you know, there really is something weird going on in that photo. But uh, I anyway... Uh, nobody, you know what I'm saying, nobody has a problem with Donald Trump posting a picture of him hugging a goose. Uh, but anyway, more importantly is, is, is this cucumber story. Uh, you know, for one thing, anybody who has ever tried to hump a cucumber knows that, you know, the problem with the cucumber is it's not attached to anything. And uh, th this poor brother, uh, y y you know, he probably can't afford an SUV. And, y you know, to get the right height off the ground, uh, you know, an SUV grill, uh, I, I think it's genius. I think it's absolutely genius that this guy actually... Uh, and, and he probably went through some trial and error. My guess is he probably started, you, you know, with his bed 
kind of like uh, putting the cucumber maybe between his mattress and box springs and backing up onto it. You know, that doesn't work. Probably could not afford his own SUV. So what does he, he obviously, uh, you know, scouts the neighborhoods, finds Truxton Heights. With a name like Truxton Heights, you can only imagine, I'm, a, I'm sure, that every goddamn Karen has an SUV parked in the driveway. It's just sitting there. She's not using the fucking SUV. Uh, it, 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 it is just the right height, and uh, it, it, it serves the purpose. Uh, I, I, I think the guy is an absolute genius. And, uh, and, 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 he's, and he's obviously thrifty. You know, he put the thing back uh, in his lunchbox for later use. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm, I, I'm very curious what else that man has in his lunchbox. Uh, you know, inquiring minds want to know. But this comes back to this story, which I've told several times on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. You've probably heard it before. You know, from this privileged <coughs> honky that uh, when, when I was in college, I, I lived next door to this nymphomaniac nurse. Uh, we'll call her Betty Boop. Uh, it, it, anyway, I, I've had a lot of stories about Betty Boop. But this is the one, you know, on New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve when... Uh, her boyfriend was at work at the local pizza parlor. He was stuck there till 11 p.m. And uh, so what Betty Boop came up with, now B Betty Boop was a white girl. Uh, for, she was from Poughkeepsie, New York. You know, this blonde-haired, blue-eyed, freckle-faced white girl. Uh, and and me uh, on on New Year's Eve. This would have been the New Year's Eve, probably between I don't know 1981 and 82, most likely. But anyway, uh, she decides that she wants to exercise her God-given right to be DP'd with a cucumber. Uh, to be DP'd with, with, with a cucumber. I, I guess you all know what DP uh, means. And so since I only could provide a single penetration, and, and she had two holes that she wanted penetrated to, to close out uh, 1981, uh, again, it's like I was talking about last night when, when I knocked up that, uh, when, 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 you know, when I knocked up that lesbian. You know, I was doing a favor for a friend. Okay, when, when you have a good-looking, I think she was about 26-year-old, when you have a good-looking, uh, blue-eyed blonde next-door neighbor uh, coming knocking on your door, holding a cucumber in her hand and, and, and saying, Hambone, could you do me a favor? And I said, what is that? Uh, what do you want, Betty? I said, I'm trying to get out the door to this, uh, to this party. And she said, if you could just hold off for a few minutes, could you please do me a favor and ram this cucumber up my ass and then fuck me? And I said, I said, God damn it, Betty, uh, you know, I'm really in kind of a hurry here, uh, but, but because I am such a nice guy, I'm going to do you this favor this time. Come in here, uh, get on your fucking hands and knees, and, and, and uh, whatever uh, you want. So, you know, she gets on her hands and knees on the bed, I guess about as high up off the ground as, a, as an SUV grill. So I fucking rammed the cucumber up her ass and fucked her. And uh, I had, uh, had, and I had my vasectomy by this point. I can't, anyway, 
we did not end up in the abortion clinic, thank God. So uh, I, 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 I said, darling, I, I said, I really have to go. Uh, please lock up on your way out. And, and the last I saw of Betty Boop in the year 1981, uh, she was lying face down on my mattress with a cucumber sticking out of her asshole. And uh, I, I, I say, good Lord, some of the crazy shit I, uh, I, I get into uh, with my crazy neighbors. And, and I went off to my New Year's Eve party, and I think it was the very next day that there was this, uh, this bowl game, one of these football bowl games. And so I guess it was the New Year's Day party uh, that her boyfriend, you know, who had been at the pizza parlor working while I was DPing his girlfriend and ramming a cucumber up uh, her ass. It was either New Year's Day or very early in January. So he, uh, he invites uh, people over uh, for a bowl party. And it was a potluck, so you're supposed to bring a, a dish. And what Betty Boop brought to the potluck was, uh, was this steaming bowl of vegetable soup. And one of the vegetables floating around in the soup was a cucumber that was you know a sliced up cucumber and I remember somebody commenting uh, at the party like uh, Betty I've uh, that I've never thought of using uh, putting cucumber in, in my vegetable soup where did you come up with the idea and uh, she said well uh, I, I just had a cucumber uh, lying around, and uh, I would have used a zucchini, uh, but it's, uh, you can't find zucchini um, this time, so I just, uh, I, I just picked up the cucumber that I had lying around and put it in the soup. And everyone commented how delicious that soup was. And, and, and it was. It was a delicious soup. And, uh, of course, she looked over at me and winked. Uh, but, but anyway, the point I'm making with all this, th this is just a long way of saying that it didn't end up on the front page of the fucking Atlanta Constitution. Okay, guys? Y you know, uh, my guess is to this day uh, that, that uh, as, as long as it's two honkies, the, these white privileged honkies that, uh, y y y you know, uh, it probably happens a million times a night that, that women uh, want to be DP'd by a cucumber. And uh, there, there's probably privileged white guys uh, backing up into their SUV grill uh, every day of the fucking week. Uh, this, this is a clear-cut case of uh, FCWB, fucking cucumber while black. It, it, and it's bullshit, and, and I want it to stop. Uh, it, it's just, uh, it, it, it makes me feel guilty being born white. I have to feel guilty and my fucking white privilege but because some goddamn Karen can't deal uh, with, with, with some black dude, uh, you know, pleasuring himself uh, with a cucumber in her fucking SUV grill. And, and, and some, some black dude in Ohio can't walk down the fucking street uh, carrying a fucking goose. And uh, I don't want to f feel like I need to be guilt-tripped for being born white, okay? Because I, I can sodomize myself with a cucumber. Well, I don't have an SUV, 
and uh, I'll have to go check, uh, but I don't think the grill of my uh, Toyota truck will allow a cucumber, but I, I need to go find that out. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, I, 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 I am sick and tired of being put on a guilt trip for being born white but, but because a, a brother uh, can't walk down the fucking street carrying a goose w without it and, and, and ending up as the leadoff story uh, on Fox News. And uh, anyway, I just had to get all this off my chest. Thank you guys for hearing me out. And uh, I need to go. Uh, I need to go out to my garden, and then I need to go uh, lift the hood on my truck while well, I still can. Bye, guys.